United Flight 869 is cruising at flight level 330 along a North Pacific Oceanic route en route to Tokyo, Japan. Do you smell something like electrical smoke? Uh, I had a whiff of something, but it's gone now. The captain acknowledges that he doesn't smell anything anymore, but instructs the first officer to don his oxygen mask as a precaution. Then he instructed the first officer to recheck because if it was sulfur dioxide from a nearby volcanic eruption that they smelled, their sense of smell could be desensitized. The captain then checks with United Dispatch to see if they have any reports of volcanic activity. Hey, Dispatch, this is uh, United uh, 869. Copy all that, United 869. Look like we're getting some kind of dust or something on the uh, up here. I'm gonna put on my mask. Let's do the uh, smoke fumes order uh, QRC. Uh, the engine, uh, engine number four has started. The first officer has no sooner started the checklist when he sees the number four engine failing. The captain allows that the dust situation is manageable and calls for the engine four failure checklist. Suddenly, the number one engine begins to show indications near the red line limits, and the captain chooses to shut that engine down and call for the engine limit surge stall QRC checklist. As the first officer acknowledges that order, the captain says, there goes numbers two, and three engines. We need to shut them down as well and declare a May Day. The captain begins a 180 degree turn to avoid further ash, declares the emergency, and asks for the indicated airspeed disagree, airspeed mock unreliable checklist. The captain advises both air traffic control and United Airlines dispatch and then ask the first officer for the multiple engine flame out checklist. You've lost four engines and you have returned two. We have two engines returned. You've de declared the emergency. Stand by and uh, I'll get some, uh, get some information for you here. Stand by. And Matt, if you'll let the manager know that we have an emergency with United 869. He's lost four engines. Believes he has encountered inadvertently volcanic ash. He has got two engines relit, and uh, I'll need some help to get some information to the flight crew. While the emergency scenario has played out aboard United 869, the air traffic control system has begun receiving alerts of a volcanic eruption in the geographic vicinity of United 869. The Alaska Volcano Observatory has received seismic alerts from the Russian Volcano Observatory signifying that Russian Mount Shevelush has apparently erupted and they have activated their notification procedures. After receiving the emergency declaration from United 869, dispatch does a sweeping weather check for suitable emergency airfields in the vicinity and determines that the Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky Airport is the best choice. The arrival weather is suitable and the runway length is 11,155 feet. After checking a suitable route to the airport that will avoid further contamination from the ash cloud, dispatch coordinates all of that information with the crew. They also take steps to notify airport officials of the diversion of 869 to their airport and the nature of the support that Flight 869 needs upon their arrival. During the recovery to Petropavlovsk Kamchatsky, the flight crew is successful in restarting two of the failed engines. The crew completes the approach to the airport and lands successfully.